Hello everyone, this is Hammer Bro Mike, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, where today we are going to go back to the Hidden Village. We were literally just there. Not sure why I'm hopping on Epona, but we're going to hop on Epona and ride her there, apparently. I don't know. I, like, literally traveling there by warp portal would be faster, but I don't know. I am still very yawning. Like, I'm not kidding. I could really go for a nap right about now. So our goal for this episode is to go to the Hidden Village once more. Um, we have to talk to Impaz again to find out about uh, the Dominion Rod. And then we also have a little challenge there to do. And we also have a Howling Stone to get the last hidden skill. And if there's enough time there, if there's enough time after that, we're going to go to um, Laneru Spring in Lake Hylia. Uh, there's a piece of heart in there and some other treasure chests to open, which... I've neglected to get until now, I guess. So we're going to go do those things. And luckily, it's still nighttime, so we can get the postal that's here, too. So we're going to... I think that's going to be the first thing we do, is go for that postal. Uh, let's see. So it's... supposed to be up here. Don't tell me it's going to be daytime. Where is it? It's supposed to be up there. Do I have to talk to Impaz first? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to talk to Impaz first. And then after that, um... After that, I'm going to get the Howling Stone taken care of. That girl doing alright? I guess I have to show her the Dominion Rod. Hey, that rod! Is that the Dominion Rod? Ah, could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there is a story from the time when the Uka... Oka. Uka, Uka, Uka. Still maintain contact with the royal family. Yes, it's said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with Uka. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. Oh, I see. I always forget. Like, I, I feel like Shad always has the book, but whatever. So, with the ancient sky rating, blur, 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 meeting the girl must have been ordained by the gods. Okay, so we're done in here. So, basically, the sky book will allow us... We Basically, we have to give it to... We let Shad take a look at it, and then, um, after that, he somehow brings power back to the rod. Okay, so now the Poe is there. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to get there from over here. I must say, that moon texture looks really good. And with this, we have every postal in the the Elden province. So now we have one more, well actually two more things to do here. Yes, I know, the Kaku leader, he's got fun and games for everyone, I get it. I understand. But apparently there's treasures buried here. 
or not. Oh, welcome. This is the Forgotten Village. 30. No, more like 20. That's how many cats have made it back here to the village. So perhaps you know, just play with them? Sure. Ah, thanks so much. They're all so lonely. Perhaps you could talk to every one of them? But, but if you ever leave the village, it'll, it will be like you never talk to any of them. Do you understand? Cats are forgetful. Oh, and let me give you a tip for speaking to all of them. Start at one end. Got it? Alright. Basically, it means if you leave the area or go into the house, then everything resets and you'll have to do the challenge all over again. Okay. Time to go cat hunting. Meow, what fun, meow. First one. So we got one. Got two. Got three. Yeah, the cats are... Like, you'll, you'll eventually reach a point where, like, there's one left and you just cannot find it. So we got four. Also, the cats look so adorable in this game. Alright, so we got five. Alright. We can transform. Don't worry. Alright. So that's six. Um, <laughs> I love, like, the really tiny ones. That's seven. Um... Got eight. Got nine. Okay. I don't think there's any over here, no. And I guess doing the Howling Stone will prevent us, from, like, we'd have to start over. I believe we talked to you. Yep. Okay, so we got ten now. We've already talked to you. Yeah. Uh, we got 11. Okay. I have to get up there, which means I have to go back up here. So I'm gonna have to, gonna have to use the claw shot so I can get up there. Alright, that's 12. Okay, I have to get in there from this way. Oh. That's 13. Alright. It's all of them from up here. Um, we got one here. It's 14. 15. 16. This is where it starts to get tricky. Um, we're already buddies. 17. 18. Alright. Oh, where are the last ones? This one. Alright, we got one more to find. This is where it gets really Okay, stop doing the jittery. Man, finding these la finding the last one is always the hardest. Yeah, we're already buddies, I know. Where is it? This is o this is always the hardest one to find. Maybe it's this one? Not not you. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Oh, that cat fell. Yeah, we already got him. Oh, where is this cat? Alright, so we talked to these two. 
Um, let's go back up here. Okay, so that's the chicken. It's not you. We've already talked to you. Um, we've talked to that cat there. I don't know where this... Th like, this is the part where it's like... You literally have one more cat and it's just nowhere to be found. Already buddies. Or I talk to that one. Where are you? I'm not gonna be behind there. Dang nab. It's not you. Of course, this is the, the I always forget about this one. There we go. Stupid. Making it hard for me hiding behind stupid barrels. All right. Here's a prize in front of the old lady's house. I love how everything just had to reset after. All right, so come play again. Maybe I don't want to play again, but we got a piece of heart. We need three more. I'm trying to dash. I'm trying to dash. Yeah, this is the last time we're gonna have to do this. Last time. This is a very long one, too. There we go. It's a longer one with the howling. Do, 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 do. Does this mean? So, we are going to howl. There we go. Gotta get a sip of my water now. I got some water. <sighs> I think the past couple episodes I've been, like my throat's been feeling dry. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Man, the past month, well, the past few weeks, though I'd say the past month of, no, nah, probably the past few weeks, it's been pretty busy. S started my new job and building a new fence in my backyard, which is done now. Um, we finished that on Sunday, I think. Like this past Sunday. And it's been good. Alright, can I warp from here? I don't remember if I can. Okay, I can. So we're gonna... So now that we got all the stuff here done, we're gonna go... We're gonna go to Castletown here to see Mr. Wolf. We're gonna see Mr. Wolfie. And then we're gonna go to Lake Hylia to Lanayru Spring and then we're gonna return power to the Dominion Rod oh wait I'm going the wrong way I have a habit of going down because of Telma's bar and and stuff alright so we gotta go this way 
And the hero's shade will be red right in front of the door here, I believe. <sighs> or in front of the barrier, rather. There we go. Yeah. One more hidden skill to go. This is good stuff. Completing things is fun and dang. Fun, fine, and dandy. We meet again. At last, the time is now. This is the seventh and final hidden skill that I can pass on to you. This forgotten skill is the ultimate secret technique, and it tests the true courage of the one who wields it. Do you wish to master this final hidden skill, which can be earned only by the one true hero? I do. Very well. And before we begin, I will test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the jump strike. Now then, come at me. Ah, that's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. I'm sorry. I love how he can defend against the spin attack, but can't defend against the jump strike because I have to do the jump strike. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of learning my lost art. Very well, my final hidden skill is the great spin. Let it be hewn, hewn. Let it be hewn into your mind. We're gonna get it into your mind. Are you AVs online? You have at your disposal the basic sword technique known as the spin attack. You have mastered numerous hidden skills and now house the spirit of the true hero. You now have in your ability. You now have in you the ability to magnify the power of your spin attack. But the only time you can draw out that power is when your life energy is brimming full. Thank you for making my life full. Now, try unleashing the spin attack on me. That's one powerful spin attack. Impressive. I will repeat this once more. You can only perform this technique when your life energy is brimming full. Remember this. The final hidden skill, the great spin, has been passed on. Yeah. You learn the final hidden skill, the great spin. With full life energy, unleash a spin attack for even more damage. You have, you have at last mastered all of the hidden skills. Although I accepted life as the hero, I could not convey the lessons of that life to those who came after. At last, I have eased my regrets. You who have marched through countless foes, each mightier than the last, you who now gaze to the future with vision unclouded, surely you can restore Hyrule to its stature of yore as the chosen land of the gods. Farewell. Go, go and do not falter, my child. The hero's shade is the hero of time. Just gonna throw that out there. So now that that's done, we can go to Lake Hylia. Going to Lake Hylia. Gonna go to the spirit spring. <laughs> Okay. It's the other way. I'm still used to the Wii version. Though if I were playing hero mode, it would make much more sense to me. Alright. I don't know why I started sensing, but I thought, let's get some particle effects going. Okay, so here we are. I do not know if we can actually get everything in here. I think we're going to need another item, af like the item from the city in the sky. But we can, we can get some stuff in here. So first off, let's get the magic armor. I mean, not the magic armor, the Zora armor. Let's get the iron boots and water bombs. Just gotta do 
Just gotta do the thing. So that gave us some odd little rupees. Alright. Kick open the chest. Ten, that's not really worth it, but I'm not gonna complain. Alright, so we got one up he one here. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Get some more rupees. I think just... Okay, nothing else to bomb, but we got one more chest here. And what do we got? We got a blue rupee. And okay, we're gonna get the... get that going okay so now we need to get up here get back up um can we i think i gotta jump over here oh i almost fell there so we need the claw shot to get up here and then Go through this door. And we got some chests in here. And now we need the lantern. Man, three chests in one room. That's impressive. Well, just wait until later in the game. So we got water bombs to replace the ones I used, which is good. Whoops. And this one's probably going to be more. Or just five rupees. That's cool too. And we got our piece of heart. Which is nice. Alright, so I believe that's all we can do in here for now. I don't think we can do anything else in here. Unfortunately. So. Because see, there's a chest there. And there's going to be one at the other side as well, but we can't get up here right now. Which is unfortunate. So we will be coming back here later to get those two chests. Which I believe they're just rupees. Come on. I need to climb back up here. Yes, I missed that rupee. Okay, so now we can go back to the, um, go back to Kakariko, ah, that's not Kakariko. Go back to Kakariko Village and speak to Shad. To Shad. Because he's a shadow. Well, not really, but. You get what I mean? I'm down by the river. Man, it's still nighttime. Well, it's just about turning daytime. But I, I love how I've managed to keep it nighttime still. <laughs> Alright. And now we just hop back down. And then we show him the book. What's this? Ah, it's skywriting. Where in the blazes, blazes did you get this? You don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal? R right, let's try it out. And then he just says a chant or whatever. Which... Does nothing. No reaction. So this is not... So it is not this statue. Er. Link, thanks ever so. You have brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle. I shall give the book back to you. Now I shall try this word on other statues. I have made the rounds of these statues so many times that I have memorized their locations. I will place the marks on your map so you can find them. Come find me. Dear ba dear. Alright, well, see you later.
<gasps> so basically, the what he chanted didn't remove the thing from that owl statue, but it did return power to the Dominion Rod. So now we can use the Dominion Rod once again. The writing in that book was a spell that imbued the staff with magic. Now you can do the other statues, what you did before. Der -der -der, yep. I got you. I got you real good. Now we can do more things and such and so on and so forth. Which is good. Because doing all those things is really fun and fine and dandy and cool and stuff. Okay. So I would say that we have accomplished a lot, and now we're ending off the episode literally in the same spot we've ended off the last two episodes. Maybe I'll do it in a different spot, or I don't know. I'll face this way this time. Alright, I'm going to equip the Dominion Rod for starters. Okay, so next time on Twilight Princess HD, we are going to do some fun stuff with the Dominion Rod, and I will see everyone later. Bye.